tip number 18, 8 test points. And as an example, I'm going to use OpenRex schematic, especially this power page here, because there are a lot of test points. Have a look. Can you see them? Test point, test point, test point, test point, test point. As you can see, we place test points on almost uh, every power rail in our schematics. What do you think why? Why we place test points on the power rails? Because the power is uh, one of the things which you need to measure most often on your board. Yeah, When you receive your very first prototype, one of the first things what we are going to do, you are going to check all the powers. If a board is not working, one of the first things what we are going to do is to measure the powers. Yeah, correct. So that's the reason why we place test points on the powers. And we also place them on the control signals of the power supplies like uh, here, power on signal, yeah, this is test point, or power enable, or power OK signal. So uh, it's very easy to see the power sequencing. If uh, a board is not working, one of the first things what we have a look at is the power sequencing. When it stops and then we try to find out what the problem is. The other place where uh, we may use the test points are the signals which uh, we may want to wire up sometimes. For example, the signals which can be used to program some chips like this one here, the test points on this I2C bus, they can be used to program this chip which is here. Yeah? We just solder uh, down uh, some wires to these test points, connect the external programmer and program the chip. You can use it on, on memories, you can use it on microcontroller and these kind of chips. There are not many other places where we put test points, maybe a reset or some uh, interrupts or these kind of signals. It's really up to you. It's uh, just place it on the signals which you think you may need to measure or we, where it can be useful if you need to, for example, solder down some wires. Sometimes the test points, it can be used during a production test. But to be honest, we do not use them very often for production test because uh, it's quite uh, difficult to build the tools for the production test. You need to build the hardware and you need to build the software. So uh, you may want to build this only for very high quantities or when you need to do the test very quickly. Normally for many of our boards, we just boot them up and we run some software to test all the peripherals and that's it, yeah. You see the board is working fine. But as I say, for high quantities, you may want to build also these uh, special tools and then you can use these test points during the production test. The test point is a very simple component. You can see in the schematic, we created special test point component. Uh, symbol is uh, just one pin and this circle. The footprint is uh, just a path. Just be careful, remove the solder from the path. Yeah. So uh, if you use the gold on the top of your PCB, the test points will be gold. I'm going to show you so you can see. This is the website where you can find the, all the information about the OpenRex, where you can download the Alto files, which I use in the videos. This is the board. And here, can you see the test points? This here, yeah. So they are gold. So when you are measuring the uh, signals, you have good contact. 
And that's it, that's all about the test points. Tip number 80, add test points, why they are useful during debugging and they can be used during manufacturing and production tests.